Welcome, welcome to Bay Hill Studio. I am excited to share a super quick little tutorial with you today. I was just finishing up uh, writing up a blog post about these fun little reading pillows. Um, and these are a free tutorial offered on the polka dot chair blog, polka dot chair .com. And I will leave a link um, in the description below for that. Um, and I I made two different versions. This first version, I um, inserted regular traditional store-bought piping. I didn't want to make my own. I didn't have time, but I had some store-bought piping on hand and I put that in. And then this next one, I did what I just call faux piping. It's just um, a little bit of fabric around the edges that looks like piping. And if you don't have store-bought piping and you don't want to make your own, you don't feel like you want to tackle that, this is a great alternative and it still adds a really lovely finished look to pillows. Um, even, even I'll even do a tutorial later for a baby blanket that you can add it to. There's a lot of different uses for it. And um, so today I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's really quick and easy. The first thing I do when making this reading pillow is the pocket. So I will demonstrate how to add the faux piping to a straight edge like a pocket. This is really easy. What I have are, um, I cut four strips of fabric and I cut them one and a quarter inches wide by the width of fabric. So I just cut these long strips from my yardage and then I folded them in half lengthwise, pressed them, and they are ready to go. So um, now for my pocket, I have this folded strip sandwiched in between the front of the pocket and the lining, and then I've clipped it into place. And what I'm going to do is just sew it now so that it's sandwiched in the middle and I'm going to sew it using a one half inch seam allowance. By using a one half inch seam allowance, it leaves just a scant quarter inch peeking through for our faux piping. So let's sew that in place. Okay, so now I'm going to open it up and you can see there it is. And now I fold when I fold over the pocket, I'm going to press the lining to the back and then we'll bring it back to the machine and top stitch for a nice clean edge. Let's top stitch that in place. Top stitching typically means a one quarter inch, stitching one quarter inch from your edge of your fabric. Um, I go in between edge stitching and top stitching. I like it just a little less than a quarter inch, but do whatever works for you. Okay, so let's get that a little closer so that you can see how nice and neat that looks. From both sides. So that's your faux piping on your pocket. Now we'll get the rest of the pillow prepared and show you how I add it um, to the edges of a pillow. So my pillow is prepped and completely ready to sew together. I have this is the envelope back of the pillow and then this is the front of the pillow under here and we just need to um, include this faux piping. So what I'm going to do, I have it loosely clipped together, the pieces loosely clipped together. And I'll start on this side that I haven't clipped. I'm going to add the faux piping by putting again the raw edge to the raw edge and just leaving a little off the edge and my fold is in here. And then I'm going to add a few clips to hold it into place. 
just makes it easier when you've got all these pieces that you're navigating. So let's clip the ends and then I'll work my way to the center. Make sure everything is situated pretty, pretty well. I end up having to adjust things as I sew, but this will just keep it all in place. All right. And I'm going to clip off that extra and that's it. I'm just going to do one side. Typically when you do binding or, or regular piping, you want one long continuous strip to go all the way around, but this is the completely easy cheater way. So we are going to, um, I'm actually not going to start at the end because I, well, I can, let's do that. If I start at the end, I already need to have a piece in there overlapping. If I don't want to do that yet, then um, I will start at the middle, but we'll start at the end just to show. So this is overlapping. Again, the folded side is on the facing towards the center of the pillow and the raw edge is to raw edge. So now look at that. They're just crisscrossing. And we want a half inch seam allowance again, right about there. Okay, so I'm going to take another strip and before I get to the end, I'll crisscross this piece too. So my folded edge is going to go towards the center and I'm just going to stick it right in there and overlap it. And then sew till I'm about half inch from the edge. A little too much, so let's just go back one stitch. All right. Okay, so then I've got my piece kind of tacked into place with my needle for this next side, and then we'll just continue. I've got it, again, sandwiched in the middle. And we'll just continue the way we were. And then I just keep sandwiching it as I go. These ones I haven't, I'm not gonna clip these. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay. All right, I'm getting close to the edge and it, so it's time to add another strip. So I'm going to lift up that edge and crisscross over. Oh, make sure every time, make sure those raw edges are aligned with raw edges and that your fold is towards the center of the pillow and then stitch till about half inch from the edge. Now this is a little longer. I'm just going to cut that so I can see where I'm going. You can see sometimes I just do things my own way. All right. All right, let's see. Yes, that is a half inch. And then we're going to keep sandwiching that in there.
trim that and then we will go ahead and do our last bit. Last side, then we'll open it up and see how it looks. <laughs> okay, I forgot that I had already started this side. So I'm going to stop the film and um, unpick this bit. Let's see. Actually, I'll keep, I'll keep rolling. I will just um, speed up because we got to keep it real. I will speed this up and, and unpick this real fast. Okay, so this is why it might be easier to um, start your faux binding in the middle so that you don't forget like I just did. It happens, it's okay. Didn't cause any irreversible harm. All right. I was kind of gently pulling on that fabric because I um, I noticed I'm going to have just a small crease. So I am going to unpick this to give it some room. Hopefully that will work. All right. Okay, so now we are going to just trim our corners like you normally would, close to the stitching. And then we will turn it right side out and take a look at our faux piping. Okay, so we, I can give this a good pressing, but I want you to see what this looks like. So my corners end up having just that little crisscross, that little fold. And so they kind of gradually disappear into the corner. Other than that, it's just looks like regular piping. And um, so this is just the easy cheater way to make piping. Look at that, pull some threads. That's what it looks like. So there you have it, faux piping, easy. All you need are um, strips one and a quarter inches wide. I used four strips for this. I might've been able to get away with three. Um, so yes, one and a quarter inches wide, press it in half, and then you're just going to sew one along each edge and let those crisscross at each corner. And I honestly love the look of this. I think it just um, gives a clean finished look to just about anything. And especially when you don't have time or desire to work with regular piping. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and have a great day.